boom. Now arriving at North Station. Thank you for riding. Commuter rail. <laughs> Entering Park Street. The doors will open on both sides of the train. So I've been uh, obsessed with the tea all my life. I've really, the way I describe it, I've never grown out of the little little boy train phase. When I get to a station, it's it's often aesthetic because a lot of stations function pretty well. If there's a functional issue, that's really bad. So the thing that catches my attention is this awful metal, rusty ceiling with these old lights, and then there's water dripping down from it, and it just detracts from the station. It makes it feel dead. Up here, the vibrations of the locomotive are making this thing shake. And it just feels like the whole bridge is going to fall down. Look, look, they changed the door. Uh, <laughs> it's actually like a legitimate door now. It used to be this really like rusty old door that just kind of go But now, oh, I'm really excited for this. That's amazing. Like, that's so much better. My dream transportation job would probably be a consultant, like a transit consultant. I think that seems so fun, uh, just going to towns, you know, look at all the routes, inspect them, and, and, and make changes. That's what I want to do. I want to go to places and make their bus systems better. I think that would be really, really fun. Minibuses are, are really bad buses, but I ride them so much and I'm so used to them that I'm just got at the point where I find them hilarious because of their awfulness. Every minibus, at least every bad minibus, has a jiggly wheelchair lift. So the bus will be moving perfectly, like pretty quietly, and then you just hear like <coughs> in the back from the wheelchair lift, like bouncing around. When you do transit adventures, you, you learn about neighborhoods that you wouldn't have thought you'd ever go to. What I do on the rides, I just take, I take pictures of the scenery as it goes by, um, just for the review, so, I, so there's sort of reference points in the post. I'm feeling a, 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 a six, I think. It definitely gets people, it gets a good amount of people. Um, but I, I don't mind the route. I think, I think a six is pretty fitting. The idea was that to pay for your parking, you'd fold up dollar bills, stick them into the little thing, and I think you would um, use this to like stuff the bills in there. That's insane! They still have to use the honor box. I, I can't even believe that. All right, North Rica, I'm going to give the station an eight um, because it's really, really, really nice. It has good mini high platforms, an amazing building. This building is just awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh, free Wi-Fi? All the amenities you would ever want. It gets a ton of people, has plenty of parking. The one problem is just the honor boxes. Why do they still use honor boxes here? Make relative haste. So on the T subway, uh, my favorite stop is Beachmont on the blue line. It's this really, really pleasant elevated station. Um, it's clean, and it's in a really interesting neighborhood. It's not even that fancy or anything, it's just, it's just really pleasant. And I get actually, that's my only 10 out of 10 on the T subway. When I think of my least favorite station, I always revert back to Prudential. Those gross off-white walls, and, and just everything about Prudential is just really bad. I'm doing an internship at the T this summer. I am so excited. It's gonna be really cool. I, um, I just, I, I, my, my one hope is that I, we, you know, I, I work on something meaningful. Like I really want to, you know, make a change in, in how something works. I don't know. I don't know what it would be, but I, I hope to make some form of change. For elevator service, please exit on the left side of the train onto the center platform. <laughs>